Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? This is German Fernandez and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fold an origami F-15 Eagle jet. Alright guys, so before we start, do not forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button right here above the screen. And the benefits of subscribing to my channel is that I release new tutorials on a daily basis. So every time I upload a new video, you'll be notified immediately to your YouTube channel. So don't miss out and don't forget to subscribe. All right, guys, well, let's get this party started. So this is the F-15 Eagle Jet, and this is what we're going to be folding today. So let's go ahead and grab one sheet of paper, and today I'm going to be using a 11 by 8 inch sheet. So go ahead and grab that. Once you're ready, let's go ahead and start. So you want to fold this bottom left corner towards the top left. And we want to make sure that this bottom edge right here aligns nicely with the top edge. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it. Okay, so now let's go ahead and open it back up. And now we're gonna fold this left bottom corner towards the top right edge, making sure that this left edge right here aligns nicely with the top edge. And remember guys, like I stress to you guys on every video, make sure to take your time and try to get each fold as accurate as you can. If not, it will show on your final results. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. Once it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and open it back up. And now what we want to do is fold this top left corner towards this bottom right crease. So what we want to do is make sure that this edge right here aligns nicely with the bottom edge. So let's go ahead and do that. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you got that nicely creased down, let's go ahead and open it back up. And now what we want to do is flip over the piece of paper. So let's go ahead and do that. Once you've done that, what we want to do is fold this upper left corner towards this right side crease, making sure that this left edge right here aligns nicely with this upper crease all the way downwards towards the bottom. Once they're nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and open it back up. And now what we want to do is flip over the piece of paper. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so once you flipped it over, go ahead and poke this middle section. You'll notice it'll pop upwards. And now what we want to do is bring these two sides right here towards this middle section. So slowly just bring them together. And then we'll have this top flap, so we want to go ahead and set that flat against the table, just like that. Okay, so now I'm going to rotate it towards the right, and now we want to flip it over. Alright, so once you've done that, let's get this bottom left corner right here, and fold it towards the top left corner. So what we want to do is make sure that this edge right here aligns from this corner all the way down to the other corner. So make sure to take your time and align them as nicely as you can. Once it's aligned, go ahead and crease it. Once it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and get this bottom left corner and fold it towards this top right edge. Making sure that the edge right here on the left aligns with the top edge. All right, so once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the right side. Fold this bottom right corner towards the top left edge, making sure that this edge right here aligns with this top edge. So go ahead and take your time. Once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. And now we wanna open these flaps back up all right, so once you've opened those up, what we want to do now is open this little section up right here 
and tuck the little flap that we just created, tuck it inward so that it's hidden. And you'll be left with a little flap, this little guy right here. So you see this guy? Yeah, so you'll be left with that. So if yours looks like this, let me open it back up, then you're doing a good job. So now we wanna repeat the same steps we did here, but to the left side. So you're gonna open the flap back up, you're gonna pull this upwards, and then shove that little corner inwards. All right, so once you've done that, guys, this is what yours should look like. And you should have a flap right here on the left and another flap on the right. So once you got that done, what I want you guys to do is crease along this line right here. And we're gonna be creating a valley fold. So what we'll be doing is getting this bottom section and folding it upwards. The reason it's called a valley fold, it's because you're folding it upwards, so it's got like the shape of a V. So once it's nicely creased down, what I want you guys to do is grab this flap right here, just one, not the bottom one, and fold this edge right here towards the middle crease. Once it's nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you've done that, Let's go ahead and open it back up and flip the flap towards the left. Now what I want you guys to do is fold along that same crease we just created, but this time fold it towards the right, just like that. Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be folding this edge right here towards the middle crease, but we're only gonna be doing it to this side right here, not to the back flap. So open the back flap and just crease the bottom side. See, just like that. So now we wanna grab this flap and flip it towards the left. So once you've done that, increased it down, let's go ahead and fold along that crease and bring it towards the right. All right, so now we're gonna repeat the same steps we did to this side, but to the left. So we wanna grab this flap right here and fold this edge towards the middle crease. So make sure to go ahead, take your time, align them as nicely as you can. Once they're nicely aligned, let's go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you crease it down nicely, let's go ahead and open it back up. And now we're gonna create a reverse fold right along that crease. So what we're gonna do is bring this flap towards the right and fold along that crease we just created. And now what we wanna do is we wanna fold this edge right here towards the middle edge. Alright, so once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. Now what I want you guys to do is flip this little flap right here towards the right and crease it down as well. Once it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and flip it towards the left and then flip this towards the left as well. Alright, so now for the next step. Alright, so let's grab these two little corners and spread them open. And then we're going to go ahead and open this section up just like that. All right, so this next step might be a little tricky, but if you pay close attention, it's actually not that bad. So we're gonna create a mountain fold right along those creases and a valley fold right along these creases. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys, so this is gonna be a little hard to explain, but I'm gonna try to do my best. So this first crease, we wanna go ahead and mountain fold it, and the second one, a valley, just like that. All right, so mountain fold, valley. There we go mountain fold valley. We're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom side. So we're gonna mountain fold the first crease and valley fold the second, just like that. So now I'm gonna open it back up and show you guys the steps again. So we're gonna mountain fold and valley fold both of them just like that and then bring it back. So if this side looks like this, then you're doing a good job. Now I want you guys to flip it over We want to make sure that this middle crease right here, let me show you guys, this crease right here aligns with the middle crease from that top section. So once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. All right, so once you crease it down nicely, let's go ahead and move to the next step. We wanna fold this right corner right here towards this top edge right here. And we're gonna be creating a crease from here, right past that corner, towards the bottom side, so that it's perfectly aligned with the middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. So 
so once yours is aligned with this corner right here go ahead and crease it down a little bit now you want to make sure the top section is aligned as well with that top edge if it is go ahead and crease it down all right so now what you want to do is fold this corner right here towards the right and we want to fold it right along that crease right there so we're going to be creating a crease right along the middle crease so bring it towards the right make sure to align it with your middle crease just like that once it's nicely aligned go ahead and crease it down alright so once it's creased and all nicely aligned you're going, to you're going to be able to tell that this crease will align with the bottom crease and as well with the top section. So if yours aligns, then you're doing a good job. So let's move on to the next step. So now what we want to do is repeat the same steps we did here, but to the left. But this time it's going to be easier. We're going to fold this left corner towards the top right. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so once you've creased it, you want to make sure that these edges right here align. And if they do, then that means you did an excellent job. As you could tell, this crease right here on the left should align with that little corner. So now what we want to do is we want to fold this corner towards the left. And we're going to create a crease right along the middle crease. So we want to line it up right towards that edge. So go ahead and do that. Take your time. Like I said before, you want to make sure to align it as nicely as you can. Once it's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. All right, so now for the next step, what we want to do is we want to fold this edge right here towards our middle crease. Let's nicely align, go ahead and crease it, and let's repeat the same steps to the top side. So we want to go ahead and fold this edge towards our middle crease. and then just crease it down nicely and now we want to create a valley fold straight down the middle crease so let's go ahead and do that all right so once you've done that let's go ahead and grab these two flaps right here and fold them downwards and we're going to be creasing it right along this line right here so as you see, this crease will be at the same angle as our middle crease. So let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so once we've creased it down, this is what yours should look like, and the crease should cross right across this little corner right there, right along that edge. So if yours looks like that, then you're doing an excellent job. Now what we want to do is fold the back wing towards the crease we just created. So we want to make sure they both align nicely. Once they do, go ahead and crease it down. Okay, so once you've done that, let's go ahead and open the wings back up, just like this. Alright, so we want to grab this little flap right here and fold it upwards. Making sure that the edges, that these edges right here, align with these two corners. With this one, and this one. So go ahead and align it as nicely as you can. It's nicely aligned, go ahead and crease it down. And as you can see, it aligns nicely. So if yours looks like that, open it up and let's repeat the same steps to this side. So we want to grab this flap and fold this edge towards these two corners right here. Alright, so once it's nicely creased, let's go ahead and flip it upwards. Just like that. And now for the final steps, we're going to go ahead and fold the tips in to give it a more realistic look. So what I'm going to do is fold this tip downwards. 
So watch very carefully. See how I fold it down just like that. Then I crease it. Then you want to open the flap back up towards the top. So just open it up. Then you're going to open this pocket right here and shove it inwards using our existing creases so that it stays hidden. So you push it down just like that and fold it down. See how it's hidden in there? So if yours looks like that, then you did an excellent job. So now we want to repeat the same steps we did to this little guy, but to all the other ones. So let's go ahead and repeat the same step to all of those. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. There's your Origami F-15 Eagle Jet. Well, guys, I hope you guys had fun. I hope yours turned out great. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button right above. And guys, make sure to feel free to comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about my videos. So don't forget to comment. I always appreciate it. And it's always good to hear from you guys. Thank you once again for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.